four and more renewable energy projects get underway, we've ironically heard more about how they can harm the environment in unintended ways. But as Brandon Ritterman reports, one local company is working to minimize its impact with some pretty unusual equipment. And it's a story you'll see only on Channel 2. High winds make the Virginia Range an ideal spot for wind energy. The plan is to place several rows of turbines up on top, but whether or not it will be bad for the birds is what this device behind me is for. Last October, biologists started observing the birds. There's a lot of spotted towhees, um, grow sparrows, white crown sparrows, hawks, um, some northern harriers. Since they're trying to build wind turbines on BLM land, this project requires a more rigorous study than most. That's where Merlin comes in. This high-tech radar system tracks how the birds fly, and it tracks bats, which migrate through here as well. High winds kept the birds from flying very much on our shoot, but let's look back at recorded data. So there was definitely some migration that occurred last night. More important than how many birds they find is how high they fly. The rotor swept zone is probably about the width of my finger there during this lower section. So even that one hour, you can tell that most of the targets are, are flying fairly high. Birds that do fly in that zone will have an easier time than in years past. Newer turbines don't have places for birds to perch. They also turn slower and have more space between for birds to go around. But still, bird strikes will happen. Every form of human endeavor has an impact. Rich Hamilton of Great Basin Wind says he'll tweak the project before it's built to minimize that impact, which is what this study is all about. And he points out the positive, lots of clean energy. Well, we have 71 turbines on the map. And that'll put us well over 200 megawatts. A megawatt powers about 300 homes. If all goes well, construction could start next year. Covering the story, Brandon Rudiman, Channel 2 News.